with that, I want to get into the, the last little stretch here. I'm going to go play two quick games. First one is going to be um, a Would You Rather with some sports scenarios. We did this a couple of weeks ago. Um, fans really seem to like it. They did really well um, on TikTok and Instagram. So we're going to we're going to bring it back. We're going to play it here with you, Drew. Um, got was this four different scenarios here, um, basketball or football related. Um, so the first one I have for y'all is would you rather play full NBA game and go scoreless or play a full game and have 50 points dropped on you? Whoa. Scoreless or 50 points? I'm going scoreless. Yeah, I'd, rather go sc- I'd rather go scoreless. Yeah. I'm not trying uh, to get embarrassed. Now. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be out there doing the cardio? As long as I'm playing de- – like, listen, you're saying I'm scoring zero, but that didn't say that I'm not locking up. Like, I could be a P.J. Tucker. Yeah, that's facts. That's fair, yeah. That's All fine. right, you I'm going to take that could, route. You could impact the game other ways, bro. 50, you, you're hindering the team, bro. You're a liability out there. <laughs> but it's funny you bring up P.J. Tucker because that was also his reality against KD in that right? playoff game. <laughs> There's nothing you could do. It just sometimes the better offense wins. That's it. And you're, you're telling me I'm letting my opponent drop 50 on me. I'm the reason we lost. I didn't, if I didn't score, if I didn't score a bucket, I could still help my team win in other ways. I, that's a fact, Dan. Facts. Yeah, okay. Okay. Next one I got here. Um, would you rather be an elite playmaker or an elite defender with the caveat that you would basically be below average at every other aspect um, of basketball? So would you rather have elite playmaking or be an elite defender? Elite mm. defense can get me into the Hall of Fame a, a, without being anything else, without having to do anything else. Where So I'm saying, if you're saying I'm an elite defender, that means I'm a good rebounder. I obviously can guard the perimeter. I'm, I'm a great interior presence. I'm getting blocks. Mm. I'm getting steals. Like I could stat, I could stuff the stat sheet in that regard too. Dennis Rodman is like the key, key piece to that where, or Ben <laughs> Wallace, another one too. So with playmaking, I don't want to be a liability on defense. Uh, playmaking, I guess you could say you technically with with how much I've been learning about basketball over these years, playmaking is not just passing. It's also your ability to create for others while the ball's in your hand, and you're also getting your own bucket too. But I feel like the safer the safer route for this, so people don't get confused with what playmaking is. I'll go I'll go elite defender because again. I can be a lot with just being an elite defender. Facts. Uh, it's the same way for me. It, like, I could be on the court and be an elite defender. There's, there's always going to find, at least, even if it's situational, there's always going to be minutes for me. If you're an elite playmaker, True. like, but I suck on defense and I can't shoot, like, that's kind of tough, bro. It's kind of tough to find your minutes sometimes. I'll go defense. I'm not going to lie. This could have been, would you rather be an elite defender or be great at everything else in basketball and be a bad defender? And I would have picked elite defender. Like to, could you imagine what it would really be like to know that you could step on an NBA court and like you could lock up another superstar, like put them in hell for 48 minutes. The type of shit like I would talk. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. That's a fact. That is a yeah. fact. Yeah, I, I would take elite defense as well. Um, to be fair, though, the type of shit I'd talk if I was a elite scorer and nobody could guard me would be next level. If, if I know there's no one on the planet that can guard me, I, I'm never shutting up. My ego's through the roof. Nah, being Kevin Durant must be a different type of feeling, <laughs> knowing that I'm 6'11", 7 feet. I can do whatever I want with the basketball. There's nothing you can do. Sorry. Right. Yeah. You can't walking, stop. Walking my player. Um. Next one I got here, little NFL one. Would you rather block prime Aaron Donald or have to tackle prime Derrick Henry? Jesus, this is this is the worst. This is by far hardness. the worst. So die or die. That's that's the question. Or basically, es- essentially, you know what? I would rather block Aaron Donald for this reason. He's running through me. He's not gonna hurt. He maybe he could hurt me. No, but he definitely could. <laughs> with Derek, with, with Derek, he's straight up running through me. I'm most definitely getting hurt by Derek Henry. Where Aaron Donald, he kind of like tossed me out the way. Like he really can't do too much in that regard. Where you see Derek Henry, he's hitting with a stiff arm or he's lowering his shoulder and running right through you. 
That's my logic. That's the only way that I can get through this question. I'm going to say I'd rather <laughs> block Aaron Donald. But again, you're right. It's do I want shit or shit? Unfortunately, I'm going to have to take one shit over the other. Yeah, I uh, I, I actually I was going to say Derrick Henry, but you just convinced me. I like your logic because <laughs> there you Aaron go. Donald, <laughs> he's going to throw me out of the way. Like he's, I'm not the goal here. Like he's trying to get to the quarterback. So it's like he's going to take one in and shove me out of the way. Derrick Henry is going to like. No, I'm trying to score. You're in my way. You're gonna eat dirt. So I, I, I'll try to block. I'm try to block Aaron Donald. It's not gonna work, but I'll try. The old lineman in me is coming out, and because <laughs> of that, I'm going to say I actually would rather tackle Derrick Henry. Oh, because goodness. to think about Aaron Donald in a four point stance and like fire off bull rush through my chest, like. I don't know if I like my rib cage might never recover, bro. Like <laughs> genuinely, at least with Derrick Henry, like I, I'm going for them ankles or something, bro. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's, I, I'm definitely not taking it up head on. Like there's no way nah. I'm about to like collision meet you in the A gap. Oklahoma like, drills. That, 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 that sounds career ending. So I, no, for sure. I, I'm definitely, I'm taking the dive. I might eat dirt. I might catch a stiff arm midair. Yeah. It'll be embarrassing. He might helicopter me. I don't know. Whatever it is, <laughs> I'll take, I'll, I'll take all of that over thinking about Aaron Donald, like legitimately like a bull rush. Nah, that's painful. Like I, the that's way that shit. NFL D tackles come off the ball, like, it's like getting hit by like a small pickup truck. I'll just I just pray that like you said, Aaron Donald just like realizes like, bro, I'm no match, bro. Just shut right, up. Just a little like speed just, move or something. Yeah, that's all you my need. hands away. Yeah, that's that's all you need. If you if, if you bull rush me, you're an asshole because you didn't even need to do that. <laughs> you, you did not need to do that, bro. You didn't need to bull rush me. You could have got me with any move and you decided to bull rush me. No, you did that on purpose. <laughs> But wouldn't, wouldn't that feel like something? If you were an NFL player and it's like you see this little guy, wouldn't you do it just out of like ego I would check him real quick? I would bull rush with like one hand. I wouldn't full on like pile drop. Just like Aaron Donald could probably use his pinky and like sh like shove me to the ground, bro. Like you, you don't even have to do too much. Look, the crazy thing is, yo, know. Billy, you're right. There are some NFL players that see a mismatch. Like even when they treat the rookies, uh, the first one that comes to mind was – um. Uh oh my god, uh, Crosby, Max Crosby in, in, mm. in training camp yeah. when Michael Mayer is going, he's like, he goes to his guys, yo, watch this, watch this. And he puts Michael Mayer to the dirt, just violates him. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> what I feel. Billy might be up to something. Aaron might see us and be like, nah, this is food. I'm about to show him <laughs> right. what this is really about and violate us. But you're right, he would be an asshole for that. He doesn't have to do all that. <laughs> right, bro. I'm not worth all that, bro. You don't need to do that. Definitely not. All the plethora of pass rush moves he knows, he could hit you with any type of swim, rip, club, spin, half spin. He could hit me with a crossover. I just, I was, I'm not staying in front of him. <laughs> like, even in my best playing days, like, that's a joke that I used to, like, run around with, like, uh, when they were going to the Super Bowl. I'm like, bro, I just want to know what it would be like to block Aaron Donald. Like, one time, like – no joke. Like, I don't want him to take it lightly. Like, I want to experience what it really would be like to have to block him. And, like, now that I'm washed, absolutely not. <laughs> like, I, don't even want to, I don't even want to think about it. Like, it sounds terrifying. Honesty, man. Yeah. No, no. Last one I got. Kind of in the, the same train of thought. Would you rather catch a pass over the middle against Ray Lewis oh, or go up for a layup? Against the bad boy Pistons. Yeah, go for a layup on the bad boy Pistons. Ray Lewis would kill me. I, I hey. at least could walk out of the arena. I could walk out of the arena against the bad boy Pistons. I would get hurt. I would get hurt for sure. They definitely caught some bodies. But Ray Lewis could do some permanent damage to me. <laughs> Over the middle of the field, I might be. There's a chance I might be able to walk again. Ray Lewis was that <laughs> yeah. bad of a man. No, I would definitely rather go up on a layup for the, against the Pistons, even though. That's not no easy competition either. Listen no, up. you're definitely like your your face. One of your cheeks, your face cheeks, your ass cheeks is kissing the hardwood after you go. <laughs> <that later. laughs> uh, Bro, the other option could have been you getting jumped in the street. I'm taking that over going over the middle <laughs> with Ray Lewis, bro. Like that, bro. Watching that back in the day, those hits of receivers took. 
it's insane, bro. You 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 remember the clip of like Ocho Cinco trying to block Ray Lewis yeah, like on the crackback? And he just got like destroyed. And Ray Lewis wasn't even looking, he was just just shoved him out the way. Him seeing me run a slant over the middle, I would die. Legitimately, I yes. I don't think I've ever yes. walked again in my life. I, I yeah, no, I'm not picking that. I'm sorry. When I was typing the question up, the play that comes to my mind, and I feel bad because I do not know the Jets receiver's name, but I know y'all know the clip where they go over the middle and Patrick Willis hits the guy and like his yes, body bro. goes limp. Like I was thinking when I typed it, I was like, okay, you know, bad boy pistons is tough because at least if you get hit by Ray Lewis, you got pads on, but then it's like it's not no, the same, bro. No, pads <laughs> like, aren't doing not. anything when that man's running <laughs> full speed at you. Nah, yeah. bro, I'm not doing it. Yeah, I, I I would have to take the layup as well. I'll leave the arena on crutches, whatever yeah, it is, roll facts. my ankle, bruise my hip. Like you said, Ray Lewis, that is permanent lifetime damage. Say, you you the might not be the is same coming person. onto the field. They're rolling yeah. me out of the stretcher. That... <laughs> yeah, no, that no, is... not even exaggerating. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, no pun intended, but like Ray Lewis might catch a body. Like for real, for real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is uh, that's wild.